Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. A genie appears from a lamp and says, Master, I grant you three wishes, but you know the rules. You can't wish for me to kill anyone, make someone fall in love, or bring back anyone from the dead. And of course, you can't wish for more wishes. A computer programmer thinks about his options and replies, I wish for zero wishes left. The genie says, granted, you now have 255 wishes. <laughs> This joke makes the rounds on communities of programmers who have given it tens of thousands of likes. But for the rest of us, the joke doesn't really make much sense. So what's going on? How can wishing for zero wishes lead to 255 wishes? The main idea is called an integer overflow error. You may remember vintage odometers on cars had a minimum value of zero and a maximum value of 99,999 miles. What would happen if the car were at the maximum value and drive one more mile above the maximum? The odometer would overflow to the minimum value showing all zeros. In those days, some cars could even be driven backwards to roll back the odometer. So if you think about it going in reverse, if you rolled back one mile from the minimum of zero, you would then go to the maximum value of 99,999. A similar issue would have happened with the music video for Gungam Style, whose views would have exceeded YouTube's maximum value for its view count. YouTube changed the parameter and avoided this issue. But integer overflow errors are an issue in many areas of life. In the early days of computers, programmers had to be stingy with data and were very sparing with their code. So many of them used just the last two digits of the year to represent years in the 1900s. So 97 would represent the year 1997. This led to a scare as we reached the year 2000 because a computer would mistake 00 for the year 1900. That would screw up all sorts of date calculations and other calculations. But due to enough preparation worldwide, very few errors actually happened. Casinos can run into this issue too. A few years back, a slot machine overflow error caused an erroneous screen display for a winner of a $42 million payout when the maximum payout of the machine was only $1,000. This resulted in the winner being disappointed of not getting $42 million and a court case, and ultimately the winner wasn't paid the jackpot and was just given a meager payout. Video games famously have this issue too. According to legend, the 1991 video game, Civilization, had a rollback error for Gandhi's aggression characteristic. Gandhi, being famous for nonviolent protest, was given the lowest value for aggression of one. Now, when a government changed to a democracy, this led to the value being decreased by two. So that would put Gandhi's aggression characteristic at negative one, but that was below the minimum value, which then rolled back. So Gandhi had the maximum value of 255, which led to such bizarre behavior as Gandhi declaring nuclear war. The game developers denied this, but it is still an urban legend and still taught in some computer classes because what could be more memorable than a rollback error causing a nuclear Gandhi? So let's go back to the genie joke. In order to understand that, we need to talk about 8-bit integers. 8-bit computers are historically important from the home computer, the Commodore 64, or Nintendo's 8-bit NES system. So let's think about when integer overflow occurs with decimal numbers. When you have a one digit number, you can go from zero to nine. A two digit number will go from zero zero to 99. A three digit number will go from zero 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 to 999. So let's think about this. This is base 10. 
Now 9 is 10 to the power of 1 minus 1. With two digits, 99 is 10 to the power of 2 minus 1. And when you have three digit numbers, 999 is equal to 10 to the power of 3 minus 1. Now let's work with binary numbers. These are binary digits. One bit will be 0 or 1. Two bits will be 0, 0 going up to 1, 1. And three bits will be going from 0, 0, 0 to three ones. So when does the overflow occur? With one bit, it's two to the power of one minus one, which is one. With two bits, it's three, which is two to the power of two minus one. And with three bits, it's going to be seven, which is two to the power of three minus one. So when does the overflow occur with eight bits? It will be two to the power of eight minus one, which is equal to 255. But here's another way to think about it. An 8-bit data type has eight slots for zeros and ones. As each slot can have two possible values of one or zero, there will be two to the power of eight, which equals 256 numbers possible. Now, starting from the minimum value of zero, that means the maximum value will be all ones and correspond to the decimal number of 255. Here we're only dealing with non-negative whole numbers, so this kind of variable would be called an unsigned 8-bit variable, as opposed to a signed 8-bit variable, which would have a positive and a negative, and would have half as many values, using one slot for the plus and minus. So let's go back to the joke. We need to add in one more detail of how the genie keeps track of wishes. Imagine the genie is a computer program that works like this. The genie has a wish variable that counts how many wishes are left. After hearing a wish, the genie grants the wish and then decrements the wish variable by one. So imagine the genie starts with three wishes. The programmer wishes for zero wishes. So the genie grants the wish and sets the wish counter to zero. But after granting the wish, the genie has to decrement by one which will roll back the wish counter to the maximum value of 255 wishes, assuming the genie is using an 8-bit unsigned integer for the wish variable. So there are many things that go into this joke, but you could kind of understand how it would work from a programmer's perspective. In real life, integer overflows can be a nightmare for computer programmers. These are errors they would never have anticipated. But should you ever be fortunate to meet with an 8-bit wish-granting genie, you'll know the math to trick the genie and make all of your wishes come true. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.